Work is being done on this showcase window at a car dealer. The task is to prevent heat from seeping in from outdoors. It costs about $140 per square meter. The liquid used contains tin oxide, an effective insulator from heat. When dried, it becomes transparent. This glass has been coated. Right, that's why it's not hot. The one in back has no coating. There's a big difference. The liquid is applied, and two minutes after exposure to strong light, the metal piece placed behind the glass registers a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. Uncoated glass, however, exceeds 60 degrees. The insulating effect is quite clear. A venture company, Fumin of Fukushima Prefecture, Eastern Japan, developed this technology. This is company president Katsuo Yagisawa. Tin oxide is applied inside the cover of cell phones to prevent heat traveling to users' hands. The venture company launched a development project, believing that if they could make the coating transparent, the material could also be used on any glass surface. They studied the size of the nozzle hole, the pressure level for spraying the liquid, and other factors. And after three years, they succeeded in creating an almost transparent coating. Major international firms are in the midst of researching wind, solar, and other energy alternatives. Our company thought reducing heat from glass windows could have an immediate effect. With only three employees, the company has limits in responding to orders. So, to keep up with demand, the firm has other companies serve as its agents. On this day, people from a major car parts maker came in for a meeting. We want to secure jobs and fulfill our contribution to society with this environmentally friendly business. The firm's unique environment-friendly technology has drawn wide interest, and many are offering to become agents. Currently, there are more than 70 company agents. This technology is drawing interest overseas as well. This is Singapore. The skyscrapers towering over the center of the city-state are constantly exposed to strong sunlight. As Singapore has limited energy resources, saving electricity used for air conditioning is a national issue. Yagi Sawa visited an interior design firm here in May. The firm contacted Yagisawa with an interest in his thermal insulation technology. This was Yagisawa's first overseas business opportunity. He demonstrated his coating technology using the window panes at the interior design firm's office. It's very easy, and then, yeah, it's very fast. Yagi Sawa visited the Singapore government's construction bureau in May as well. The government provides support for promoting a wide range of energy-saving technologies. Thank you. The bureau executive approved Yagi Sawa's technology for receiving state support. Then a plan was proposed to train workers on glass coating skills at a government-run facility. So it can be from, from training or focus to uh, setting up a technical center to support you know, mm -hmm. some of this thing. How a technology developed by such a small Japanese firm does in the future, and to what extent that technology spreads, will be watched with a great deal of excitement and anticipation. A Japan-born technology is going out to the world. I'm excited.